Put God First Sunland Apple IPTV Entertainment. The best makeup artist Candy 2 4 2 3 9 5 0 1 2 5 You don't even know how very special you are You sweet little lies Hi my babies, hi How was your day? <laughs> I got a song Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies Tell me lies, d -d tell me lies Oh no, no, you can't disguise Can't disguise, oh no, tell me lies d Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies hmm. God, did we believe the lies for years, didn't we? Hmm. The lies other people told us, the lies we told ourselves God, we did so much, literally, to survive, you know? We believe so much bullshit just to survive. For years, it's the only way we could go, keep going on. Only way that we could wake up in the morning. Only way we could stay married. We had to believe those lies. Because facing the truth was just too much. And then God said no more. No more lies, sweetheart. I'm going to give you every single bit of evidence right into your face. I'm going to take away everything that is no longer good for you. And I'm going to make you deal with your truth. I'm going to wake you up to not only the lies that other people told you, the lies that you told yourself, and the lies that is everywhere out here. You are going to see everything that I need you to see in order for you to heal. Because this is why I woke you, okay? This is why I'm putting you on this spiritual journey. This is why I'm I'm taking you places that you've never been. Because, honey, this is all about your healing. This is all about you rising above. Because I can't stand to see you do this to yourself anymore. I, it's actually kind of pathetic, all right? I've given you a way out numerous, numerous times. And you kept thinking, no, I'm going to believe the lies. And then you convinced yourself stories that of your own stories, your own lies. Like in your head, you made up these scenarios just for you to survive. You did. I did. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. And that was your coping mechanism. Until God came in and he shoved spirituality right in your face. And he said, not anymore. And because he did that. You faced your demons. You faced all those lies. And the truth came out. And you are officially free. Welcome to freedom. I love you. God loves you. God will find you. Sunland Apple IPTV Entertainment Perfected Faces Done by Candy. See, I didn't find God in the church. In fact, I didn't find God at all. He found me. He met me in a place where I was so broken I couldn't get up. And when you're loved like that, it will shock you. Whoever needs to hear this, listen now. God did not bring you this far to leave you. He did not bring you this far to... The scripture says that he that started a good work, a good work, he starts a good work. He's faithful to see it through till the end. The work that the Lord has started, has started in you is a good work. And he will surely see it through to the end. He said, he says, it makes all things work together for good. For those that love, love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. His purpose. You did not find God contrary to um, you know to to the to the to the way it explained today that oh I found God I found God you did not find God God was not lost 
you was. You was lost. God found you. And so if he finds you, he is big enough, strong, and strong enough and able enough to secure you and to keep you. You've got to believe that. In the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 6, verse 44, it says, No one can come to you unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Christ is saying that if the Father did not send you, if the Father did not um, send you to him, you will not be able to know him. So God found you. So you've got to believe that if he found you and he's brought you this far, then he's faithful enough, he's able enough, and he's more than willing to see you through to the very end because he does a good work. He doesn't He doesn't um, do unfinished business, no. The Lord finishes his work perfectly. The book of Ephesians 2 verses uh, 10 says that, um, we are God's masterpiece. We are God's masterpiece. Listen to these words. Created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared for us a long time ago. So before you were even born, there was a preparation for you. You've got to believe that because it's true. Before you even says, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. I'd set you apart. Right? So there's a preparation for you. There's a plan for you. There's a purpose for you. There's a, there's a path for you. And, and you are a masterpiece that is going through to perfection. You will be perfected. You're going through a process that is going to take you to perfection. The Lord did not bring you this far to leave. God wants to be pursued. He's a relational God. He's, he's a jealous God. He wants your heart. He wants your devotion. He wants your passion. In fact, he gives us an incredible promise in, in Jeremiah 29 verse 13. He says this, God says, you will seek me. And what happens when you seek me? When you seek me, he says, you'll find me. It's a promise. If you pursue God, he will reveal himself to you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, God says, I will be found by you, declares the Lord. When you draw near to him, when you pursue him, when you crave him, when you hunger for him, God loves to be pursued and he loves to reveal himself to you. To speak to people about a peck. So when you look at a peck, it has the silver spring in the center. Yes. A peck cannot function without the silver spring in the center. If I remove the silver spring in the center, it will be just two pieces of planks that mean nothing. Same yeah. thing with your life. If I remove God at the center of your heart, you'll be a meaningless person. You wouldn't know your purpose. You wouldn't know your calling. You wouldn't know who you are. Number two, when you hang clothes on a line, why do you put a peg? You put a peg so that zinga or zinga gold. Same thing with your life. Why do you receive God in your life? You receive God so that you don't fall into depression, anger, anxiety, bitterness, jealousy. That is why you need God in your life so that you can be who you are and know your identity and purpose. Number three, if I remove the clothes from the pegs, so that is why it's very important to stick on onto the Lord. Number four, Apex does not discriminate this right. Lazy impartial for it doesn't matter whether you are rich, whether you are poor, whether you are filthy, whether you are dirty. Apex job is to hold you back. It does not matter who you are. Apex is gonna hold you. Isn't this is the same thing that God says? Come as you are. It doesn't matter how broken. It doesn't matter what happened in your life. God is saying that just come as you are. Right now during this lockdown, there's somebody that's broken. It's saying that. I have no future, there's no hope, but I want to tell you, God is saying, come as you are. And the word fear, says Lirato, the word fear, this word, fear, it has two meanings for me, says Lirato. It says, first meanings from the enemy, and people will say, forget everything and run away from the promises that God has for you. It's saying forget, but I want you to turn it around today. I don't care what situation you're facing today, turn it around, face everything and rise i don't care what situation you've been through a lot of people they might have thrown stones like that dogs do not bark at a car that stands still but dogs bark at a car that's moving so what i'm telling you run 
hustle. It's difficult. to am my author, Sister Lirato. My friends, when I shut my You could trade eyes with me Cause there's complexities in complexion But your skin is glow like diamonds Dig me like the earth you be giving back To everything alive, baby, know your worth I love everything about you from your nappy curls To every single curve, your body natural Same skin that was broken, me the same skin taking over Most things are the focus, you But when you're in the room, they know it's you Tells your story Keep dancing, they can't control 